Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 2 of my Technode Firmacraft Let's Play series. I've done a bit of exploring, and you can see a bunch of waypoints that way, and a bunch over that way as well. Uh, if you look at my map, for some reason my map got corrupted and I had to delete it in Journey Map here, delete map and re-auto-mapped it. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it still hasn't re-rendered this area, but I did go explore it and found a few more minerals and some more plants. Uh, I want to get some metal tools. Right now we only have stone tools and I want to do some mining to get better tools. We've got copper right there. So I'm going to start by making... Um, I can make business bronze, I believe. We're going to figure this out together. And to do that we're going to need first uh, ore, which we've got, and a vessel to smelt it in. And then we're going to need a mold poured in too. So I want to start with a mining pick because I know I can just go mine some more copper. So we're going to make a mold for that to start with. You should take a clay and carve out the shape of the tool you want. And we're going to go ahead and make a couple of other tools as well. Uh, a saw, I believe, looks like this. I think I've messed this up already. Yeah, I've messed it up. So a saw. I'll do it again. There we go. A saw mold, and I also want a prospector pick, which looks like a mining pick with a handle on it. Okay. So now I need to make my uh, ore um, into a liquid form to be able to pour into these molds. So what you have to do is, when you're just starting out, you take a vessel and you put the right proportion of ore in. And if we look at uh, copper, we can see the different things we can make. We can just melt the copper itself or we can combine it with cassiterite, which we don't have to make bronze, or zinc, which we do have to make brass, but you can't actually make tools out of brass. Uh, copper and gold will make rose gold. This is what I'm going to make, bismuth bronze. Uh, so we need sphalerite, uh, copper, and bismuth. And if you look at the proportions here, you need to put in at least 10% bismuth and at most 20%, so minimax, and the same for zinc, 20%, 30% max. Now, for each mold we need 100 units of metal, so we want to put in 100 units of our ore, and to make it in the right portion, we're going to need to follow these. So, at least one bismuth to two bismuth. So we're going to put that in first, and then we know we need between five and six and a half pieces of copper. I should say that each of these ores makes ten. You can see that when you hold shift. So we need between five and six copper. So I'm going to start with five. That's the minimum amount. And then this failure rate, we needed two. We'll just double check that. So two zinc or failure rate, five copper, ten, ten bismuth. That's the that's the minimum amount. But that doesn't add up to ten. That's Six, seven, eight. That's only eight units. We need to put in two more units of metal. So if we put one more bismuth and one more copper, we've got six copper, two sphalerite, two bismuth. That's ten units total. That'll give us a hundred units of metal. And we'll see that fits the proportion. No more than two, 20 percent bismuth, no more than 30 percent zinc, and no more than 65 percent copper. So it's a little complicated, but not a, it's not rocket science. You just need to make sure your percentages are right. If you get these wrong, I think it just makes a useless metal. So now to fire it, we put it in our pit kiln. Oops. Shift click to place it in the pit kiln, and we're also going to fire our molds at the same time. So I'm going to make these three molds, but we're only going to have enough material to put in the pick. And then we'll get some copper to make the, uh, the other tools we want with that pick. So we'll put this down, put this down. We'll grab our straw, and we need some logs. So I, I chopped some trees and made uh, log piles here. I, I don't know if I explained how to do this, but if you shift right click, it'll put down a log pile, and then you can open it up and put put more logs in up to 16. So one stack of logs here will make one uh, log pile block. 
So now we're going to put in the eight uh, straw and eight logs, and then we'll just throw a torch on top, take a step back. Excellent, the sun's coming up. Cool. So it'll take eight hours to fire. I'm going to go ahead and build some mud bricks, which is why I was looking at the recipe here. These are um, pretty good blocks for building early on because they're really simple to make. Just clay, dirt, and straw, you can collect that very quickly, and then they're not affected by gravity, so you can build actual walls and things with it. So we're going to make a couple stacks of those. So I got 32 of this kind of dirt, and we need 32 clay, and 32 straw, so that'll make 32 of those, and we'll take this other stack of dirt, which is chalk dirt, so it'll make a different, you can see they're different um, colors. Now these are wet, so you have to lay them out in the sun to dry. So we're just going to place them down, I guess. So they have to be in the open and exposed to the sun, so you can't, I don't think, I don't know if trees or not will matter or not, but we'll just not place them on other trees to be sure. Place these down. Yep, so that's un not underneath the tree. And then we'll go over here, put the rest of these down. Cool. And I think they take a day or so to dry out, and once they're dry, you can just break them. They'll say dry, and then you can buy them and make the bricks. So this is this is going to be our our starting materials to build um, a real house that isn't just made out of logs. So I think I'll get an axe. Do I have an axe, yeah. I'm gonna cut down a few of these trees, and yeah, we're we'll clear some space out. But I should show you the other things I've done. Um, I've expanded the farm a bit. I need to drink water, which I don't have any good supplies of water nearby. So I got more. Actually, my original garlic is done. I found some barley, uh, potatoes, cabbage, rye, squash, and green beans. And these grow pretty quick. So we should have uh, enough food to last through the winter. There's also some more wild crops that I haven't picked up yet. There's a pool of water a few hundred meters that way. Um, I've also placed this container outside and it'll rain and, and just fill it up with water and we can click it with our water jug and drink out of it just like that. So the next time it rains it'll get some more water for me. And do I have any food on me? I do not. I've added a bit more storage since space is at a premium. Uh, you can take these ceramic vessels and put items inside just by taking an empty one. You can place it on the ground with shift right click or if you simply right click it'll open up once you put things inside, you can place it in here. So for now, I'm going to drop these empties off. I don't need them. I want to grab out a... Actually, I have an idea. We're going to do a few more things here. So we're going to get this uh, food out. A potato. Uh, okay, we'll leave those rest in there for now. We'll take a cabbage, a green bean, and garlic. So we're going to take all that cooked food. Okay, and I'll just drop these back off for now. And I believe here, yep, I've got bowls. So if we take our knife, and I've already already done it here, but if we right click on a surface, we'll get our food prep area. We can go make a salad out of our vegetables, and that'll make our food last longer. So we place the bowls in the right, and then a potato, a cabbage, a green bean, and a garlic. And we can make a very interesting salad. And uh, now if we eat this guy, we see he gives it quite a bit of quite a bit of food. And when you finish eating it, you have a chance of getting the bowl back, but sometimes it breaks. And we'll probably just leave this here. They the the food does decay over time. We've got a lot of food, and I I don't think it'll be a problem. But I'll make one more salad for now. And I have somewhere to drop this ore. Sure, I can drop some there, and then drop the rest here. This has two more hours remaining. I'll probably just wait a moment for that. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'll clear these trees out here. I'll probably flatten this out some, and this is actually where I'm gonna build my first real house. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna stay here long term, but I know I want to stay here long enough to at least 
do some copper mining. I found gold over there, rich native gold, that's actually exposed on the surface. And I think there's a sphalerite. Yeah, you can see it over there, sphalerite 200 meters that way. So we can do some mining here and get our first metal tools, get a good supply of metal, and then do some more exploration to see if we can find anything interesting. Cool. So we got one more, one more hour remaining. Let's chop a couple of these trees down. Um, I have not been punching uh, the leaves to get sticks. I've got quite a bit right now, and I've planted all my saplings. They do take multiple days to grow. See, I've got my saplings here, and I, I think they took nine days originally, and they're down to five days. I, we've got a lot of trees. I'm not too concerned about it. Once I get my metal tools, I'll make a scythe, which will let me chop down the leaves that much quicker. I need to keep an eye on my fire, because once the fire goes out, and my metal is liquid, then I need to cast it quickly, otherwise it can solidify and you have to reheat it to melt it again. But we want to do that. And the right axe is broken, so we'll make another axe. I should probably be using the better uh, stones. The chalk tools really don't last very long. I've got some andesite and rhyolite, which is an igneous rock, and it has more uh, more durability for these stone tools, but in all actuality, I, I really won't be using these many for much longer because I'm going to have metal tools. And we'll get into smithing and things like that. I'll show you how, guys how that works. Yeah, this is pretty slow. I really want a metal metal axe to make this go faster. Okay, so our fire's gone out, so we need to act pretty quickly here, so we'll grab our liquid and we'll grab our mining pick uh, mold. Okay, so we will right click the ceramic vessel. We've got yeah, business bronze. Awesome. We'll put our mining pick. This will fill up. And if we had made more than 100 units, like if we would made 200 units, we could have made a second tool or a third tool with 300. But we'll, we'll get there. So we got the pick mold now. We just craft it out into the pickaxe head. And now we've got Mining pick, awesome. Time to mine, finally. Sweet. So let's go check out our our copper over here. I've already done a bit of work exposing the vein. Um, it's literally right underneath the surface, which is pretty lucky. So we, we can see it's all the way over there. So we should be able to mine the top um, portions here without worrying too much about cave-ins. I mean, there may be something underneath that could cave-in, but you know, blocks will only fall if they're unsupported. Okay, so that's those. I can look behind now since we have this. Yep, cool. And if you'll notice, this ore that I'm getting has 75 units. So we were getting 10 from the small nuggets. Nuggets. This is seven and a half times as much. So we don't really need as much to um, to make quite a few tools. Now the problem I have now is I don't have enough uh, sphalerite or zinc to make more um, bismuth bronze. Oops, fine. Dirt can fall down. But we should be able to do some digging and find that. Cool. Yeah, so this is going to be really easy to get all the copper we need. I'll go ahead and mine these blocks so they don't fall on my head. And also pick that up. So we can see these ores stacked to 16. And yeah, we're going to be in, in good shape. All right, so that's what we uh, that's what we do to get our, our starting materials. I'm going to go to my sphalerite, because I know I need that. And there's a bismuth, I think, over there. Yep, bismuth is hard to see. It's next to the cabbage. Um, so I'm going to take a shovel, get some stone shovels, and just do a little digging and mining straight down to see if I can find the, the other ores. So I'll cut here for a moment and take care of that off camera and I'll be back when I find something. Okay, I'm back guys. Uh, this is where I found the sphalerite originally and it didn't take me very long to dig down and find the ore. But it's actually bismuth ore, not sphalerite. So I wonder if I just messed up the waypoint or what's going on. We're going to try to mine a little bit of this without dying. 
If we can get a few more pieces, then we can make a prospector's pick. And there goes my shovel. Make another shovel. Get a prospector's pick and do some searching to see if there's actually a uh, a deposit here, or if I made a mistake. I guess I can go back and look at my sessions I've recorded as well. See what I did. But eh, we'll just do some exploring. That's fine. Okay, so this is going to all collapse when I dig that out. I'm going to leave those blocks because I don't want the gravel to fall down. And I don't need much bismuth anyways to do my tools. Yeah, so we can just grab that. Now I'm in risk of having this ore collapse and lose it, but I'm not too concerned. I just don't want to die. That's all. I actually did die once. There was a bear. I was standing on a ledge looking down in a... In a uh, kind of a ravine, and the bear came up behind me, uh, hit me pretty hard, and knocked me into the pit. It's right over that way. So we're down we're down one life. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, we'll see. Oh, I'll dig that one. Dig here. Dig here. Yeah, so that's... How much is this? 50 units each. Yeah, that's enough bismuth to make several more tools, but we have to find the find the zinc somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to go check one of my other... I'm just going to assume I mislabeled this waypoint. And I'm going to go check one of my other uh, Sphalerite spawns somewhere. Maybe down here on that island, or... Mm, did I find some more somewhere? Yep, there. So there was some more. So we'll, go, we'll just go check that out and see uh, what's going on. I'll be back. Alright, so I did a little research online, and... I discovered that the Sphalerite we're looking for can't actually spawn in chalk, but it can spawn in phyllite, which was the next um, rock layer down. So I'm doing the foolish thing, which is mining straight down. Oh, well, that's kind of dark. Let me put another torch down to see if this phyllite is below us. Or I'm sorry, this Sphalerite is somewhere below us. Probably gonna only go down a a little bit more and then use my metals to make a pro pick and that'll make everything a lot easier. But if you were desperate for ore and you had troubles finding nuggets at the surface, you could take this very not intelligent way to find ore by digging straight down. If there's a cave or something below us then we're just gonna die, unfortunately. I'm going to give it maybe five more blocks. I think the nodes or the ore can only spawn maybe 32 blocks or something like that for the nuggets on the surface. So if you see a nugget on the surface, then you know the ore is within some distance below you, not all that far down. And we're, we're getting pretty deep at this point. So I, I guess this is probably going to be too difficult to find without, um, without the prospector's pick. So I'm going to pillar my way back up out of here, I guess, with dirt, and, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go make a prospector's pick and do some prospecting. I'll be back. Okay, so I did a little more digging around, both at uh, this Sphalerite deposit I found and the Sphalerite that spawned over there. Um, the problem is that Sphalerite doesn't spawn in chalk or rhyolite which are the two rocks that I found the deposit on top of. So it must have spawned in the layer below, whatever is below this rhyolite. Um, and it's going to be really difficult to find it without a prospector's pick and a saw to make tools. So we're going to go ahead and make some more ingots molds and some tool molds and then smelt our copper and make uh, copper tools. We've got plenty of copper over there, so I'm not too worried about uh, using it up for these. It's good use for the material. So I've made an uh, axe, a scythe, a mace, a prospector's pick. Actually, that's the mace. That's an axe. Shovel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine molds that I want to make tools out of. Uh, these guys will give me 75 copper and we need 100. So basically four pieces of this will give me three ingots and I need nine so I want to put in 12 at least into my mold. Um, 
I could make ingots out of these, but I want to wait until I'm ready to make uh, an anvil. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that now. We're just gonna do these twelve rich coppers. So we'll take that and we'll put it into our ceramic vessel and then toss that in the hole. And I need to cover all these guys up with thatch, which I left somewhere. Straw, 24. Is that all the thatch I have? Let's check really quick. Okay. So I'm going to take my... I need 8 per. I'm going to take my knife really quick and get some more straw. And I will be back when I'm ready to light these molds up. Okay, so I've got all my thatch and logs down. Let's touch a, toss a torch here in the middle and they should all light up. Uh, poof. Cool. So, uh, I take a look at the amount of video I recorded today and it's getting pretty long for one episode. So actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut here. I'll take these molds out when the ore is melted and I'll cast all my tools and then we will do a little prospecting for the sphalerite. Yep, right there. Sphalerite. I thought before I would go I would take a look at the quest book though. Um, see how we're doing. Also I wanted to say happy birthday to Biox who was the original creator of Terraforma Craft mod. Looks like today July 7th is his birthday. So happy birthday guy. Alright let's look and see how much uh, of the quests we've got done here. Cool. Three more quests with unclaimed rewards. Okay. All in the Stone Age and uh, stone hoe, cool. We'll get to pick these seeds. So I have not found wheat, but I did find rye. I found I didn't find carrots, but I did find other vegetables. I'm gonna take soybeans. Um, I did some research, and soybeans are a source of protein, which would be animals otherwise. It's the only vegetable that gives you protein. So we're gonna take the soybeans. Okay, we don't have a bed yet, so pottery. This is to make uh, all the pottery items, and we're going to take another... A heart will be, I think, a smart choice, actually. Yeah, we'll take the we'll take the quarter of a heart. I can't claim it for some reason. I bet because my inventory is full. Yep. Have any space? Sure. Okay. I still won't be able to get this either. Let's throw a few things down for now. Inventory spaces seems to be at a premium here. Okay. So our final one is to make the salads that I showed you earlier. And we'll take two bowls and, a, and another heart. Cool. So we're going to use these hearts up. And we are at 26 lives remaining. Cool. So I'm going to cut here for this episode. Uh, next episode I'll have my tools. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll have my tools. We'll do some prospecting and mining with supports and do a little work on the house. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.